this. This is beautiful. Servus. Moin. Guten Morgen. Beautiful. You have a lot of history there. And if you are into this stuff, you always want to know more, right? Alright, I hope this works. And we have sound overall. I have the microphone, two microphones on. One inside a helmet. One in the back of my jacket to record engine sound. And we have the camera here. Let's see how this works. We have a beautiful, beautiful day today. And I am about to, or I am going to meet a friend at the gas station here in town. I probably have to put, uh, more than likely, yeah, I have to put some gas because I don't have a lot. We are, we are planning to do a small route or a small trip. Um, I think it's 150, 200 kilometers, something like that. And I better be prepared. Right. Uh, Super E5, yes. Servus. Moin. Guten Morgen. Ich Guten muss Morgen. ein bisschen tanken. Ja, ich hab's gestern gemacht. Ja, super. Und dann können wir loslegen. Kein Problem, ich glaube, das ist voll. Ach so. I'm really curious about the sound. The thing is, I can feel the wind, yeah? And uh, the microphone which I have on my back has a dead cat. I don't know how much it will be affected by the wind or not. But it remains to be seen. What I can tell for sure is that we're gonna try to have one. Look what a beautiful, beautiful day today. Amazing. Glorious, glorious day. What a blessing from God, who is, by the way, the sponsor of this video. This is the city of Altensteig. That's how it's called. It's a very beautiful city, city situated on, on top of that. Not only on top, but, but also below there as well. There. That's the center there and that's the old city up there. Very beautiful city. I might have to show you guys this surroundings in, in a series of videos. I think it will be interesting not only for for you but also for me because uh, I will learn something of the history of the places I'm I'm staying here in Germany you know because it is my home at the end of the day we're looking to buying a house here and so on so you know 
we're part, we're trying to be a part of it. Look how much green here. I used to live in Spain for like 12 years and I always think of the animals there, you know, cows there. If those cows from Spain would see all this grass here, just imagine. It's so different there. I'm gonna switch between engine sound and uh, my microphone from time to time to give you guys the feeling that, um, you know, we are on the road. And this way you will be able to hear the bike as well, which has, in my opinion, an amazing standard sound. You know, I didn't change the exhaust, still have the, the stock one. And I don't think I will ever change it because the sound is impressive. So the first guy, he's turning left, but he's looking right. You see that? That's nice. Apparently we're gonna kick it. As soon as the sun pops, here in Germany, you start seeing a lot of motorcyclists. Off-road is not allowed. Yeah, not all over the place. There are certain, you know, spots where you are allowed to do off-road. And those ones are very limited from what I know. You cannot go all over the place, like in Romania, for example. But um, on the road, you see a lot, a lot of bikes. People are traveling a lot, and that's actually not a bad thing. Because you see a lot. Yeah, you get to know people, you get to know your country. Very beautiful area here as well. Look at that. A lot of green a combination, beautiful combination of colors. And then when you go when you go into the shadows into the forest, you immediately feel the temperature difference. It's so beautiful. I don't know if you heard that, but I got a, a fly on an insect hitting me in the visor directly. I have now a, a brown dot that I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to wipe off. see that he's driving faster than I normally am. I'm not enjoying driving over 120 or so or over 100 plus because of the wind. Even though I have, um, I don't have earplugs but I had the sort, some sort of headsets. I don't have the music on right now because for somehow, for some reason it didn't connect with the Bluetooth of the bike but even though I have headsets on earplugs yeah I 
but you still hear the wind and it's constantly pounding, you know. And I don't think that how beneficial or I don't think that's very beneficial for the long term. So that's why I like cruising and enjoying the scenery. Because here, if you, uh, as soon as you, you hit the gas pedal, you have to pay more attention on the road, you know, things which can pop in front of you or stuff like that, things which can happen instead of focusing on the scenery. Here we go. Competition now. I'm curious about the recording time. Okay, I missed that. This bike is phenomenal. Phenomenal. You have that grip, you have that power. And I don't have the best tires or so, you know. I have the stock ones. And man, this. When you accelerate, it responds, you know. There's no delay or so. You see, I see the delay when I'm in sixth or fifth or so. Then yes. There is a certain delay, but uh, that's normal because it depends on the velocity and so on. Maybe you're overgeared and you're trying to accelerate fast, you know. Then you will not respond. That happens to with the majority of the vehicles, I would say. Right. If not with all of them. But amazed, man. Amazed. Um, of the, it was expensive as hell, the bike. 17,500 and with the installments I'm paying I'm definitely going to pay more yeah definitely but uh, worth it oh there's a golf camp there look worth it 100% not one, more than 100% yeah. and it also for me it was this turning point when I was like uh, you know I'm 40 right now if I'm not I back then when I bought it you know that's what I told myself I'm 40 right now if I'm not going to buy it now when so I went for it the problem is uh, what are you going to do with 60 or 65 or so when you may say now I have the money I'm gonna buy the bike are you going to be able to ride it are you going to be able to take care of it or lift it uh, if you know if you manage to do something stupid you know, uh, maybe you have the strength and so on, but you're not like 20 years before, right? We are getting into the city of Tübingen. No, it's... It's before Universität Stadt Tübingen. So it's, I think it's very close to, to Tübingen. There's a radar here, this device here. I don't know if we have 30 or 50 now. This is a church here. I don't know what he's trying to point me to stay with him. I don't know exactly. I guess we're going to see that church tower. It's somewhere on the right, hidden by these houses now. Monastery in English. 